Hello, hello, hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft mining tutorial for Minecraft 1.19. In this tutorial we're going to be covering custom model items and custom model blocks. So this is a two-in-one video. So let's just go ahead and get started because this might be a little bit longer. We'll see, we'll see. So the first thing you obviously want to do, register your item, register your block. However, your block is going to need to be slightly different. We're actually going to want a custom class for our block. Now, I haven't created this yet because I wanted to do it with you. So let's come into our blocks package and let's create this class. And this is as normal going to extend block. Fantastic. And you want to add the constructor and we'll just rename this to properties. Okay, fantastic. So there is one method we're going to want to override in here and that is get shape. Fantastic. And we can obviously rename these. Oh, that's not the pause. That's the state, silly me. And also the block getter, which by the way is the level. And here's the pause. And we're also going to have the, oh, messing up here, the context. Fantastic and uh, we'll close that for now that's fine and let's just go ahead and import that and we're going to give it some properties so we're going to go ahead into the properties here and we're going to go ahead and give it dynamic shape and that just means that uh, it essentially won't x-ray through the world and there's also uh, no uh, occlusion you might want that one as well so we're going to add that now just make sure light goes through it. Okay, fantastic. So now that we've done that and obviously got our item as well, which you can just see in here, item custom model, fantastic. We can now go ahead and create our model. So to create our model, we use a fantastic software called Blockbench. This is great, uh, it's open source and uh, free. So anyone can use it and really, really easy to use. So you're going to just want to go ahead and hit download, or if you wish, you can open the web app. Personally, I think downloading is better. And I've already downloaded it, so we're not going to go through that. Now you have to ignore my terrible little models that I've got open down here. Um, but you're gonna to want to just scroll down a little bit until you see the new menu. And in here, we're going to want to select Java block slash item. And from there, we can just go ahead and create our model. Now, I'm not going to give you a tutorial on Blockbench, how it works. I'm sure you can figure those out. And there are tutorials on YouTube of how to do that. The most important thing is that you just make sure the front of your model is facing north. Uh, by the way, your grid won't be this big. I just have uh, my settings turned up so that I could work with really big models. Uh, but your grid won't be this big. It will just be the size of this uh, little area here uh, and yeah just make sure the front of your model is facing the north and you can see the north down here in the front of the grid normally your north will be uh, about here um, but yeah just make sure you do that and you make sure up is up and down is down and everything should be fine so i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to create a iso model and a block model Voila, so here is my block model. I've just gone for a simple composter. I think it actually does look okay. Yeah, I think it looks okay. Obviously, I know that it's compost already in vanilla, but once you have made your model, uh, for blocks at least, you'll need to come into this display tab right here, and uh, you'll need to go ahead and modify the display. Now, one thing you can do, if I remember where it is, you can apply a preset and I'm just going to apply a preset block to all slots and that will just use the uh, default block one but if you want you can go ahead and mess around with all of the different ones uh, I think this preset is perfectly fine I don't need to worry about that once you've done that you just want to go ahead and export and you want to export block slash item model okay and you just need to go ahead and make sure you put that in the right place so that will just go in our um 
uh, tutorial mod and in your source main resources assets tutorial mod uh, models and this is a block so this will go in the block package and I'm just going to call this what it was called so item underscore block and item underscore custom no I'm stupid block underscore custom underscore model I think and just save that and one thing I also like to do is actually to uh, save it as a block bench model as well just so that we can open it back up and edit it as it is now uh, otherwise opening a JSON can sometimes cause some issues so I just like to save the block bench file as well and then I'm just going to create a new Java block item and this will be the item model so I'm just going to go ahead and create that okay so there we go there is my absolutely fantastic item model <laughs> it's terrible um, but we can just do the display now so I think there is a preset for weapon yes however it's a little weird not quite what I expected but that's fine we can Okay, there we go. I've done all the display settings. We can now go ahead and export as a block item model. And this time we're going to put it in the item folder. And that is item underscore custom underscore model. And then we can just go ahead and make sure we save the project as well. So item custom model. Speaking of saving projects, it's a good job we did save the project because we actually did miss something very important with our block model so let's come back to that so the thing that we missed is that we want to go ahead and export a voxel shape for this model and that is so that we can define a custom hitbox for this model since as you'll see it is slightly different than the normal uh, hitbox so all we actually go, need to go ahead and do is create a group and we need to call this group voxel shapes and then inside of there we want to create a cube and this cube basically just needs to surround our model so let's go ahead and resize it to fit our whole model and you can create multiple cubes in there if you want it to be uh, slightly different than maybe a normal model would be in fact, what I'm going to do, because this model is fairly simple, I'm just going to copy all the cubes across and plonk them in there. However, if your model is um, a little more complex than this with a lot more cubes, then you want to simplify the voxel shape as much as you can. So once you've done that, we can go ahead and go to... Um, file and then plugins so if you go to the available plugins you should be able to find there's actually a lot in here than uh, I thought there would be see if we can find it again here we go voxel shape generators so you just need to go ahead and install that and then you can go ahead and select your voxel shapes and you want to file export and you want to export the voxel shape so export voxel shape and we want mojang mappings so confirm and then we can go ahead and come into our tutorial mod and we're just going to go in source main java uh, all the way in we'll go in blocks and in here we'll just name it uh, voxel shape okay then we can go back in intellij and we've got our txt here and all we need to do is take this method we need to cut it then we can delete the file because we don't need that anymore and inside of our 
block class. We can paste it in here. And we just need to actually uh, change a little bit here. So shapes, for example, uh, instead of voxel shapes. And we actually need to do that for all of these circumstances. So just replace those. Uh, let's actually just find replace, replace all. Fantastic. And also, I believe uh, iBoolean function has also been changed. I think it's just Boolean op is the replacement for that. So let's just find replace those as well. And obviously import that. There we go. Now we're going to want to make this method static. And then we're going to want to create a static variable for it. So let's go private static final. This will be a voxel shape. And I'm going to call this um, shape is equal make shape. There we go. And then inside of our git shape method, we can just return shape. Now, say, for example, your block had rotation. That's fine. You can have multiple different shapes for each rotation. All you need to do is just come into a uh, block bench and export it for your different rotations. And then you can just create four variables in here for your four different uh, voxel shapes, north, south, east, west. And then inside of your git shape method, you can just switch on state.git. Uh, get is, I believe, the method. Anyways, I believe there is uh, state.get, and then you can just get your property from the state, essentially. So um, basically, you're facing, and then you could just uh, say case north, and you can return shape underscore north case east etc etc you get you get the point uh, but we don't need to do that so we can just return shape fantastic and that is actually it so we can now go ahead and just finish it up all we need to do now is just do the uh, just normal stuff really so the lang for example we need to do uh, block dot tutorial mod dot block underscore um, what did we call it block underscore custom underscore model and I'll just call that custom model block yeah, need to make sure that's obviously colon not semicolon and then also the item as well so item dot tutorial mod dot item underscore custom underscore model and then that would just be custom item or custom model item. Sure. And then we just need to do the block state. So I'm going to paste that in as well. Block underscore custom underscore model. And change it here. Block underscore custom underscore model. And then we need to do the item model for the block so we already have the item model for the item and we have the block model for the block however we need the item model for the block um, which I can't find I'm looking for example block there we go I couldn't see that for some reason block underscore custom underscore model and block underscore custom underscore model fantastic so that should be all of the stuff we need also you can do loop tables whatever i'm not going to bother with that um, but let's go ahead and run the client i'm not sure run clients going to work but i'm going to give it a go and hopefully we should see it all working still not working bruh all right here we are we are in the game so here is our custom model block and our custom model item just got them from the tab 
If we place down our block, you'll see it has our custom voxel shape. Fantastic. And if we hold our item, we can see it in our hand, etc. It has our custom model. So that's actually, well, that is it. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys did find this tutorial useful. In the next tutorial, we're going to be doing fluids, which will be really uh, quite exciting um, since we haven't been able to do fluids in a long time. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. If you did, please do be sure to smash your face into that like button and subscribe. If you really enjoyed, please do be sure to share it and remember you can join my discord server if you ever get stuck it is linked in the description um so yeah see you guys then good bye